Disagreements in a marriage are a given, but arguing and fighting is actually a choice. I'm Leslie Dorries, your marriage coach, creator of the Hero Husband Project and owner of Foundations Coaching. And I was having this conversation yesterday with somebody who um, was a potential client, and he said that one of the things that he really, really wanted was a truly peaceful, loving relationship. And like in most relationships, he and his partner have more arguments than he would really like to have. So when I said to him that he was an active participant in his arguments, that took him back a little bit. And, you know, learning how to disagree productively is a skill. And, you know, a lot of times people don't know what to do with that. There's something comes up, and by the way, disagreement does not equal conflict. That is a story that a lot of people tell themselves. The fact that my partner and I disagree about something is normal. What you do with it at that point in time is going to determine whether or not it becomes an argument, a fight, um, silent treatment, all of, all of the unproductive ways of dealing with a disagreement. The best way to deal with a disagreement is calmly. Now the fact, and, and not personalize it, right? Your partner has their viewpoint, you have, you have your own. And by the way, we're not talking about right and wrong. I don't use those terms. Um, there are some things that are correct. Our flight leaves at 722. That is a correct statement. And if somebody says, no, it leaves at 8 or 225, they are incorrect. But most of what you and your partner are disagreeing, arguing, fighting about are not factual things like that. Um, and sometimes facts matter, like what time does the airplane leave? But it doesn't really matter whether something happened on Sunday or Tuesday or this month or last month, but people will get into the weeds on that. Um, and they have, you know, and so this is a personal thing and this is, this is how you get off track. And a lot of people will, when, when, when confronted with the story they create that because my partner disagrees with me, it's conflict, we have a couple of different ways of dealing with it. If you are a fighter, you are gonna to go toe to toe with your partner to prove that your position is the accurate one, is the best one, is the right one. Sometimes people will just be quiet, just say yes, the, the appeasement, right? And appeasement didn't work in the, in the 1930s and it's not gonna work now. It will work short term, but it won't actually deal with the issue and if you're the one who constantly is appeasing your partner, one, they're gonna lose respect for you, and two, you're gonna feel like you don't matter. Neither one of those things is good for your relationship. So the best thing to do is to learn how to reach a agree real agreement through calm conversations. And this is what is the answer to getting a truly peaceful, loving, equal relationship. And if you'd like to know how to do that, I invite you to get in touch. It's a skill that you can learn and the faster you learn it, the more peaceful your home is going to be. So please get in touch with me. You can put a message in the comments down below. You can email me at leslie at foundationscoachingnc.com. That's Leslie, L-E-S-L-I. Thanks, mom. Um, and we can get you on the road to a peaceful, loving relationship that both of you really deserve. So hopefully you found this helpful. And until next week, stay loving.